I'm going to do a video that I've already done, but it has been brought to my attention that there is no sound to it. Um, there was when I checked it, when I edited it, but um, apparently I had music playing in the background and I didn't say I don't own the rights to this. So um, they let me keep my video up, which was very nice of YouTube. Thanks, YouTube. Um, but they muted it. So you probably saw me adding things and you were like, oh, I don't even know what that is. So we're going to do the mayo again and I'm going to delete the other video. So, um, I'm making a small batch because I literally two days ago just made a huge jar of it. Um, so I'm just going to do a quarter cup of aquafaba, which I just shook it up because it's been sitting in the fridge for a couple of days. But this is the juice that you reserve when you strain your chickpeas, garbanzo beans. So we're doing a quarter cup of this. And then the uh, only other th three things that we're adding are onion powder and sea salt. My little brands. I get whatever's on sale. Actually, I bought this and just refilled it with like the Costco one because my daughter was like, get the cute little jar with like the cork top to it. So I just keep this on hand and I keep refilling it. So the first time I made it, I realized that we incorporate so much oil in it that you don't need a whole lot of salt. I did a full teaspoon of salt. Uh, <laughs> full teaspoon of salt. We're doing a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I did a full teaspoon of onion powder before, but my daughter, which I think was, was great, um, we're doing a quarter teaspoon of onion powder instead of the full teaspoon that I did before. And I'm actually going to do another one where I kind of had that same, um, where I had the more salt and I had more onion powder because my daughter said when she tasted it, she said that it reminded her of a sour cream and onion potato chip. So I'm gonna do it with more salt and more onion powder in another mix. And I'm going to like replicate salt, um, sour cream and onion potato chips. <laughs> so I'm using my immersion blender. Um, I've tried it in, I'm not going to lie, I've tried it in the, um, like the Nutribullet or like just any mixer. I tried it and tried it and kept blending and kept blending and it wasn't working. So the immersion blender is definitely the way to go. If you can master it, the thing is, is you have to keep adding oil and that's where you're going to get that, um, that mayo consistency. Cause right now it's going to be liquidy gonna add more I mean it's just an adding game is all it is so I'm gonna take your immersion blender and put it in the jar and then you're just gonna give it a mix keeping it at the bottom and then so another reason why I only use a little bit of the aquafaba because the more aquafaba you use the more grapeseed oil you're gonna have to incorporate before you get that mayo consistency so being that I only did a quarter of a cup I'm not gonna have to add that much. And I mean, I don't have an exact measurement. You just add, like I add about two tablespoons at a time. And then once you see it reaches that consistency, it's done. You don't have to check the seasonings. I mean, if you wanna add stuff, if you wanna add like dill weed or anything like that, anything, chipotle powder, you can, it, it's your world. You can do it however you want. You can add your favorite seasonings. But this is just like a traditional basic like flavored mayo. So I add a little bit and then I just blend it up, keep blending it. I'm gonna add about another two tablespoons. And I already see it frothing up. Hopefully you can hear me.
it's either there right now or I'm gonna have to just add oil one more time so when I say this is so quick and so simple and so easy and tastes just like mayo you're gonna love this one more tablespoon and like I said you just eyeball it and this is definitely done after this normally use a spoon but I already got my fork in here so if you can see that let it focus no guys I gotta work on getting a camera something where the lighting works and because it just doesn't work I'm doing all of this on my phone I'm just starting out so bear with me but this is mayo like it has the total consistency of mayo and like I said, that is all attributed to the mix of the aquafaba and the oil. And they just mesh together so well. Let me give it a taste. Amazing. Like, amazing. Yeah, I'm just eating mayo. I was one of those people growing up, even now, if I eat a sandwich, and you know how you eat with, like, rye bread? And there's like a little nook or cranny in rye bread and you take a bite of your sandwich and that mayo comes oozing out of that nook or cranny like and then you just like lick that little bit of mayo off the bread oh my god that's me all day so don't judge me i really like mayo so i had to find a way to re replicate mayo um so i tried with hemp seeds and um i soaked walnuts and cashews i tried it so many different ways and then i did aquafaba for a whipped cream and I was like this would definitely work making the mayo and you look on the ingredients mayo is pretty much oil so I was like oh there you go so I hope you guys try this and absolutely love it and put it on your sandwiches and mix it with chipotle and maybe use it as like a dip or something so please um, like share subscribe turn your notifications on let me know how it turned out and enjoy guys <laughs> 